equation 9 is factorable equation in this case by grouping how do you know this by grouping? by grouping because we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 terms so you apply factorization by grouping what is the GCF of the first couple? in the first couple I saw okay, the GCF is x to the second power open parentheses inside we have x plus 6 in the second couple I saw that the factor is negative 1 this is negative x plus 6 equal to 0 now I saw that x plus 6 and x plus 6 come factor again factor out again inside the second part we have the remaining part is x squared minus nothing and nothing is 1 mm -hmm. to complete the factorization I saw that we have here a different of a square. This is the different of a square. When you separate in two parentheses, is x x one one plus or minus. Uh, remember, guys, different of a square is a square minus b square. The factorization is a plus b a minus b okay now ready completed factorization now the solution is negative 6 a negative 1 a positive 1 now the solution set for this equation is negative 6 comma negative 1 comma positive 1 okay, this corresponds with the option a in our handout Okay, number 10 question, again we have factorable equation. In this case you apply first graded common factor. And the graded common factor is obvious is x. And inside the parenthesis we have x squared minus 36 equal to 0. Now you apply difference of a square. And then we have two parentheses. This square root is x, x and square root 36 and 6. Plus or minus. A solution using the zero factor rule. Zero factor rule is x equals 0, x equal negative 6, and x equal cos the 6. Then <coughs> solution set is 0, negative 6, and positive 6. It is corresponding with the option D. Then I will handle.